the News Channel 15 Highlight Zone with Glenn Marini. Sports coverage you can count on with the Highlight Zone starts now. From the beginning of summer, getting ready for the season, this is the game we've been looking forward to. Every year it's circled, this is the big game. You know, it's always fun to beat Bishop Lane, especially when you're running out and competing for the bell. Um, we love the bell, you know, since they, they took it last year, we tell everybody every day we're fighting for the bell. Senior year to take the bell one more time, if we can just take it from Snyder and maybe we can keep this bell for one more year. It's week eight already, and the playoffs near, and conference championships are here. A lot of games could have, could have been game of the week. East Noble at New Haven, Angola at Garrett, even Northfield at Whitco. But only one marquee matchup pits two defending state champs against each other. Jessica Starber joins us with your Highlight Zone Game of the Week. Jessica. Last season, only one team beat the 5A state champion Snyder Panthers. That would be the eventual 4A state champs, Bishop Dwinger. That regular season game, earning the Saints the SAC's victory bell. And tonight, the two rivals meeting with the conference championship on the line yet again. Snyder at Bishop Dwinger at your Highlight Zone Game of the Week. The top-ranked Panthers 7-0, a win tonight clinches the victory bell. Dwenger 5-2, a win keeps their conference title hopes alive. Eddie Morris at quarterback for Dwenger. But first, we're going to see wide up Mitch Effinger show off the cannon. First play from scrimmage, a 65-yard completion to Bradley Black. Then Morris going to take it in with his legs, and he can't find anybody open. And it's 6-0 Bishop Dwenger at the end of the first quarter. Early in the second, it's Morris. One more time. His second rushing TD of the night puts Dwinger ahead 13 0. Snyder trying to rally back, but the ball comes loose here. Bart Tipman on the scoop and score. And now the Saints lead it 19 0. Christian Covington going to get across the lone score for the Panthers at half, but at the break, Snyder trails Dwinger 19 to 6. More on Dwinger after halftime after a Snyder interception. Mitch Effinger dashes in from 25 yards out. Now the Saints lead it 25 to 6, but the Panthers try to claw their way back. It's Michael Hopper to DeAndre Stroud, making it 25 13, heading to the fourth quarter. Snyder must have gone to the bank because they break out that money in the fourth. Money Woods in for the TD to put Snyder within six. Mo money, mo problems for Bishop Dwinger as a Saints interception leads to money's second TD of the night. And now we are all tied up at 25. Snyder will get the ball back and then it's Hopper finding the tight end Simon Dellinger who gets it for the go ahead touchdown. That is your ball game. Victory Bell going to Snyder this season who improves to 8-0 with the 32-25 comeback win over Bishop Dwinger. It's lovely, you know. We came out here and we knew they were going to fight hard, so we had to come out here and play. They got up at halftime, you know. Went in there and Coach Tip just told us it's going to be a dog fight, so we had to make sure we fight. You know, it's a feeling that you just can't get every day. We knew this was going to be a tough game coming in. It was tough at first. We rallied in the second half and we got that SAC title. This, this team knows they can win any game they play in, but can we muster up the tenacity to play hard right now and to practice hard right now and that's what's going to define the success of this team because we have a great group of kids that are very talented but we got to play hard and we got to be tenacious um, and we'll play a lot better. Next up Snyder is at Lures Week 9 while Dwanger closes out the regular season against Northrop Glenn. Back to you.